Hey everybody and welcome back and happy, happy Wednesday. Okay, today's Wednesday and I promised that we were going to do savings challenges on Wednesday and I have been waiting all day to get to this. Life has me a little busy, truly busy. I crashed yesterday. I had, um, I don't know if it was allergies or what. I started with a headache and we actually opened our pool yesterday and it was greener than the East River, but that's normal. That really is. It takes a couple of days and then it's crystal clear. I did not take a picture of it. I should have, but, um, so this morning I woke up and got some things done and my husband and I head to the mall area where the pool supply store is. I got to tell you this quick little story. So we get our chemicals for, you know, the pool and then we were going to head towards the mall and we we're going to go to lunch at Applebee's. I'm driving and all of a sudden a light came on on my dashboard and it said my charging, my battery was not charging. And I was like, ooh, about seven years ago, we never got an error message, but we were like 300 miles away from our house um, in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I had went to a swap meet car, car parts with my husband. And, and long story short, it I don't know how we made it home, but we made it home. So this happened again, and I'm like, I wanted to run into Hobby Lobby, and I wanted to run into... Home goods. So we pulled into the home goods parking lot and I'm like, babe, I don't have a good feeling about this. Back into a spot in case we can't get the car started. So he goes to back into the spot because now after the pool store, he was driving and he's like, oh, I don't have power steering. I go, mm. he goes, why don't you run in? I'll sit in the car. I'm like, no. It's like, let's just go home. So we're heading home and I'm like counting the miles like how many miles it's going to take to get home. And I'm like, please, saying my prayers, please let us get there. Not that I have AAA, so if I had to call it, it would happen. So I get Vinny on the phone. I'm like, listen, I said, I'm going straight over to the mechanic. You're going to have to pick Dad and I up. We literally pull into the mechanic. John backs the car and he comes and checks. And he, you know, we thought it was the alternator. If your battery is not charging, that means your alternator is not working. Well, once again... Same thing happened, but this was seven years ago, so I cannot complain. Um, the, um, all right, help me out with the word, um, belt. The belt fell off. Now, belts don't fall off, so something must have seized or stopped turning for the belt to fall off. So our mechanic literally is around the corner from us, and he's like, all right, he says, I'll look at it. I was like, no rush no rush. We've got a couple of cars I can switch with. So my car is in the shop. So <laughs> hence, you know, some of this savings challenge might have to go to get my car fixed. But I'm going to tell you this. My car is a 2013 Ford Explorer. We bought it brand new. My baby has almost, literally almost 190,000 miles on it. To look at my car, you would never think it has that, but we've driven it cross, not cr down south, up north, you know, we have drove, went to Canada, went to the Carolinas, went to, you know, we drive, I drive, I'm the driver. Um, so anyways, we came home and I literally looked at my husband and my husband goes, should I take a power nap or should I go start the pool right away? And I looked at my phone. Well, if you take a power nap, I'll take a power nap. He gets up and he goes about his business. And I'm like, you never woke me up until my daughter-in-law to be walked in the house. She's like, what are you doing? Because she comes in, she goes straight to the kitchen or my office. And I'm like, I'm in here. And she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I had a headache. And I told her, she's like, oh, do you want to go back to sleep? I'm like, no. I gotta get up and go. And I was so looking forward to this. And hence, I did have a headache yesterday. I did have a headache today. My headache's all gone. I hope I didn't bore you. I really do. All right. With that being said, now you understand why I want to create or create. I want to play with savings challenges. This makes me happy. All right. 
someone asked me, and I, I, I don't like to use names unless sometimes it's okay with them, but she's like, what is that book that has all the Disney characters on it? She messaged me. And I, at first I thought it was, I, at first I, I messaged her back with this, but then I'm like, mm, I thought she was talking about the saving challenges that was in it. This was my first saving challenge book. No, and then I sent her a picture. She's like, yeah, what is that? I created this as a hard-covered... I, I, this was created from scratch to hold all the envelopes for the savings challenge that are coming up eventually that I want to get to. I thought that I wanted to use the disk system, but I don't want to use the disk system. I want to use the binder system. So this is just here on my desk hold the envelopes that are coming up. So that's all that book is. That is. But it, it's so, so cute. I created that entire thing. So let's get started because I I have some things. I feel like it's been forever since I got to do these. I know. Because I, I filmed ahead. So it's, it's probably been two weeks since I got to do savings challenges. We have a, a new binder. We have a new binder here. So we have our regular current, we have our monthly and specials. And then in this here binder system, I have the challenges that my son made. And then I put all the challenges from Lisa Grateful Me. I had purchased, um, I guess two sets maybe, and she gifted me. Her, her beautiful heart gifted these to me, her generosity. So I wanted to share that with you because we have a, we're going to divvy up a lot of things. So in this book, I have the current that I'm working on. Current and then games will be a totally different day. But in the back of my book, and I'm going to make a divider for her, um, I put her bigger challenges that I will eventually get to. So Lisa, if you're watching, you can have a special spot in my binder system. So these are all current, and these will always be current, like the little ones. Yeah, because my mind doesn't know how to stop. Shall we see how much money we have? It probably looks like a lot, but we've got singles, because I, I like to do singles. All right, calculator is ready. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So that's 210. 210. And then we got 510, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. You think that I would use the quick sort? Mm -mm. I forget every single time every single time so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen in that and then we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty we got thirty dollars there we're stuffing 321. Okay, this should be fun. I don't know where to begin. Actually, you know what? I need to begin with my monthly. Because we're already at May 10th. And now these I started in January. And you don't have to wait. Like, this doesn't have to be started in January. If you were to pick this up, this I do believe is on Etsy still. You can begin this any month you want. And basically, it's saving $30 a month. So it's like a small little monthly savings. And then this is the card that it goes with. I think I was calling that in purple, so we'll continue with purple. And we already saved $10. And I think I want to put... I'm going to finish this one. This way it's out of, you know, I'm done with it. Should I do that? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So we got... Three, seven, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, sixteen, twenty. Okay, so May will be 
off of my mind. And we'll let that dry for a quick second. I did laminate these. When I first started the savings challenges, I was like, oh, you know, well, I'll laminate me. Once you complete them, you want to move on to another one. So I don't, I don't, I'm not into that right now. Like I like my paper ones. I, I, I love the way they look, but I don't know. I'm all about the paper. For me, the crafter in me loves the feel of them. Now this one, oh, is complete and we did not touch it. I didn't think I wanted to touch these until I finished this one. Now this one was do what you want, like save whatever you want to save. And I, I think I'm going to give this 20. I think I'm going to give this $10 a letter. So we'll, we'll give this $20 for Mickey Mouse. Since we do have some monies. And in here we have 40 so far. That'll be a nice little savings. Now we're going to show this one some love. Like I said, these are challenges that are just envelopes. If you're, if you're interested in these, I think this is called, these are on my dot com. These are called the beach, the uh, balloons, and then the flowers. And for this, if you have the envelope or the binder, it's one and done. So I wanted to do this. So I'm going to show this some love and I'm going to give this $10. So I'm going to color in the seven and the three. I'm going to, and, and these were designed by my son, Vinny. Now, also in here, I'm going to do one challenge at a time from him. But this is the one that I actually purchased from Lisa Grateful Me. And I fell in love with these because of the fox. And I love this one. I have a couple of challenges that I've done this. And I can't wait to get to them. Where you start with a dollar and then you just go up in order. But I'm going to start high and go low. All right, so I want to start with 15 in this one. I have a feeling this money is going to go very quickly. I have been looking forward to doing savings challenges. Uh, you know when things become a habit? What do they say? After you start doing something for 19 days, things become a habit. And when you don't do them, you become like, oh my gosh, almost like you have almost like a withdrawal. You want to do it. So I really and truly missed this while I was on vacation. This one I actually purchased from Lisa. L Lisa, this one's going to be all about you. And I'm going to do this for my hubby. This is going to be a surprise for my hubby. I'm going to give this one five today. But part of me says, let's give him, he like, he's a blue guy. I'm going to give him five today. And then if we ever come back to it, we can. So this one's all about John. Yeah. Then I'm going to swing here to the back. All right. Lisa gifted this to me. This is to save for your taxes. I, at one point in my life, didn't have to worry about that because I did not have an Etsy or a .com. I didn't even think about this. I've seen her do it, and I think I've seen a couple of other people do it. But when she gifted this to me, I'm like, oh, she's looking out for me. So, Lisa, thank you so much for looking out for me. So this I have to start with. Um, she has these for $25 denominations. So I'm going to start this with $25. And I just want to say thank you because being new to sales, I would not have thought about this. I would not. All right, so... In here are the challenges that Lisa gifted me. So I'm going to put these to the to the side. So this book is done. So this one right now is Vinny and Lisa. All right. And we're going to move on to, these are my current. And I'd like to find a way to make it so that my envelope sits there. And I can actually just stuff the envelopes as I do my book. Can we do it like that? That would work, right? All right. This is one of my newbies. And I designed this when I came back from Florida because I overspent on food in my heart, in my head. 
But I was like, if I go, well, when I go back to uh, Florida for the not so scary Halloween party, I'm going to need some money. So I'm going to start this one off with $5. And let me tell you something. I'm not a cookie dessert person. I was the pretzel girl and the waffle girl. And the Mickey-shaped ice cream I had one of. And let me tell you something. I so wanted the cupcakes and stuff, but I just didn't do it. Oh, and I had this. This here. This is my favorite. Would I do it again? Yes. Even though it was way too much ice cream for two people, I would definitely do that. They have one in Minnie Mouse, I do believe. So um, I need to put my book this way. They have one for Minnie Mouse. I would go back and I would get Minnie. So I'd have a Mickey and I'd have a Minnie on this side. How funny is that? So the Mickey Not So Scary Halloween. What I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do, how does it, oh, you know what's funny? Is I did this in the color that you're supposed to color it. So you're supposed to do orange and then yellow. I guess it really doesn't matter. Yellow. Right? And then the five, I'm just going to do in a black pen. Because it kind of looks like a candy corn now, right? White, orange, yellow. And I'm going to add $35 to this envelope because I really, really want to have that kind of money for spending. And I should be really doing one for the park ticket. Actually, I might be able to use my rewards points. We finished this one. Did we finish this one? No, we did not finish this one. Oh, I have my envelopes in different order. Oh, should we finish this one? So I wish there was somebody here to talk to me. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Did I do that right? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <gasps> Should we finish it? Let's finish it. Come on. All right, let's, do, let's see if we do it right. So we get to get the red pen. Let's do it. Two, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So if we go in here and we add this, oh, we should have one hundred dollars. Are you ready? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How the heck did that happen? Does this bring you more? Please stand by. I have to recount this. Okay. I just counted this. It's not a hundred dollars. I made a boo boo. I made a boo boo. It's a hundred and fifteen. What? It's a nice surprise. It's a nice surprise. How stinking funny is that? This brings you 115. So if you have this savings challenge, mm, you're saving a little extra money. Yeah. So this is going to be completed. And today is 5, 10, 20, 30. And it brought us $115. Ha! Okay. Yay! A little extra, right? When you do that, like, 100 envelope challenge and you overstuff, kind of get a bonus. All right. I know we have some $2 left. So get my marker. And we have 2, 4, 6, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 
five, six, seven, eight. Do I have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have to see if we have enough now. So this one might be completed. So let's count it. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I did one extra. So this is a hundred dollars. This is a hundred dollars, but I must have forgot to cross out something. Okay. We're complete. Oh, we're going to have some sinking funds coming up. This is the third time I've finished this, this, not this specific one. I did the first one twice. This is it. So um, I'm excited. Completed. And today's 5, 10, 23. Woohoo! Two down. Okay. Could not find this envelope last time I did this video. So these go into here. I don't know where the envelope was. It was sitting on my desk. So that's in there. Let's look through our dollars for some D bucks. Oh, we got one. Two. Oh, only two. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. Let's um, let's color in two Ds. Two Ds for Donald and Donna. Yeah, two. All right, let's stuff this in here. Let's move on. So we don't need that no more. Pinocchio. Um, uh, let's see. Do I want to do this? All I want to do him. He always makes me happy. I just want to see. I've forgotten what I have in here. You know that? Oh, let's do coins. I know I have coins. Oh, I didn't realize I had two. I have two rolls of quarters. Let me grab my change jar. I did empty this before I went on vacation. So now the jar is empty. I think this is the third time I'm stuffing this jar. And with this challenge, I said I wanted to do all the quarters and then the dimes. This challenge brings you $367.50. But my goal is to do this a couple of times. I really want to fill up my big, big change jar. And then my husband will go through every single coin to make sure there's no silver and no old coins. I'll stick that there for now. And we will color in two spots. Oh, we got two to go. I'll have to remember that next time I go to the bank. Oh, that was exciting. The 100 envelope challenge is coming up tomorrow, I think. We're going to see. It should come up tomorrow. All right, so this and this. I, I really have to start this. I mean, I, I do. I really do. So let's see. Let's give it 20. Let's give it 20. $20 to... I've got more in here. Hold on a second. $20 to emergency. Where's emergency? There it is. We have 50, 60, 70 dollars into emergency. But let me go over here because I just realized that I have a challenge that was gifted to me. This here challenge was gifted to me by Wendy Casper. I did create the envelope for it. And I, I think eventually when I'm done with this challenge, I will make an Easter challenge. I do gift. Um, I do put money in the Littles. Um, college account and I usually do 50 and 50 but if I can come ahead maybe I'll give them a hundred dollars each on Easter 
that might be something very nice to do. So I'm going to do five and five. And we're going to put $10 into this. This brings us $100. So right now we have 50. That means we're halfway there. Oh, that was fun. Okay, so I found my no spend book and I have my YouTube tracker. And today is the 10th. Now, I did place an Amazon order, but I'm not going to count that as a spend because it was, and let me know if you agree with this, it was for the dress for my son's wedding. Like, I picked out two dresses and I'll return one that I don't like. I did buy them on Amazon. I'll probably do an unboxing on that. So I really don't want to count that. But we did go to the pool supply store today, so um, that's it. And I came back. I did not, so I can save for that. We did go out on Saturday night, so I can't do that. And the rest, I was home. So I can add 5 10 15 20 $25 into the no-spend envelope, which was empty, and we emptied that out into our sinking funds in that video that um, I had no voice or did not record my voice. Now, this is the road to 5K. And I'm now up to here. So I'm going to owe this some money. So let's see. All right. We've come far. So I have, as of right now, 3,529 subbies. We owe 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, boy. 25. Let's just do 25. So this is something up oh, 25. Let's we could do 30. 30. We'll show this some love. Actually, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We'll add 35. And we'll finish a row out. So we're gonna put 35 into that is in this here binder. Wow. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing and helping me save money. Should we see what we have in here? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105 dollars saved so far. 105. All right. I think we have to show this some love. Where's the map? We need the map. All right. Now, I've gone through in regards to things that have um, states that purchased from me. If you, and I, I went back. It's, it's so difficult sometimes to go back. South Dakota and Arkansas. If you lived in one of the, if you live in those states, Alaska and Hawaii, let me know. Because I couldn't find, like, I've gone through the orders. But if I missed you guys, let me know. And then I have Australia, Canada, Ireland, United Kingdom, and Sweden. So I'm very, very excited. So I'm adding $5 an envelope to this. And let's go back. We can do 1, so that's 5, 10, 15, and 20. We'll add $20 into this envelope. This is actually a very fun challenge. It really and truly is. Shall we see how much we have in there? We have 150, 55, 60, 65, 70. 170 in there. Okay, let's see. What can we show some love to? Birthday one kills me. Donald Duck. He makes me smile. Um, let's do...
Let's do, do I have a 15? I'm like, we have a 15. Let's do $15 into Donald Duck. Three, four, five. We'll do $15. Oh, he's so cute. Shall we see what Donald has in here? All right. We did some condensing, so we have monies. 10. So we got 105, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And this is a $300 challenge. So we're a third of the way there, right? Is that what that equals, right? A third? Let's see. Uh -oh. I finished up all the fours. I wanted to do the tens. Oh, let's do some Roger. Love Roger Rabbit. What do we have? We can do one, two, three. Let's do a three, a two, and a one. Three, two, and one. Roger Rabbit's going to take us a while. Roger's got some monies. He's going to be some big time savings. Maybe Roger. But I do love this picture. Absolutely love it. So we've got 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 dollars. 108. Oh boy. What do we have left? I think Pinocchio needs some loving. Let's see what we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. So we'll take a 15 out of him. We'll call that star in. And then we'll go back to Roger Rabbit. So let's give Pinocchio some love. And we condensed Pinocchio, so he really doesn't have. He's got $100, so we're good. Pinocchio brings us $300. And we'll go back to this, and we'll color in one more for a dollar. Roger. Please. I always have to do that. That is the end of our savings challenge. I think I'm going to divide these up into a second book. I think I have to... I think I have to bring in a smaller denomination uh, challenge for when you have leftover monies. All right, so this is where I store some of my, uh, oh, there, you know what? Oh, there it is. See, I knew I had a bigger one. Videos come full circle. I wanted something with a another $100 denomination. Oh, let's do this one. Oh, you know what? Let's do 50. Let's do these two. These are my up and coming here. So that's why they're here. And what I want to do is I'm not going to take this out yet. But even though I put these in the disc, and I thought that I was going to use the disc, like I said, I can still punch holes in it. And now these come into here, and that's when I grab my little book. I grab this, and I'm going to take out Mind Train and Goofy. These two come out of there. And now we have two extra challenges. I'm really going to have to divide this up. So I'm going to punch holes in these. And then I'm going to grab behind me. So I condensed those, um, I condensed that Scooby-Doo binder into two new binders. And these will become my savings challenge envelopes or binders with all my envelopes in them. And that is the end of today's video. And I will see you back here with the 100 envelope challenge tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys then. Bye.